going on Samurais? Welcome to today's video. It's your boy Sam and in today's video we're going to be checking out this awesome light bulb. Or is it a camera? Well stay tuned and let's find out together. Alright Samurais, before we start today's video I have a big favor to ask you guys and that is if you're brand new around here and check out my videos for the first time please make sure you go down and click that subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of the familia. Also if you've already joined please make sure to share these videos with your friends and family and make sure to follow me on all my social media at SamAngelo and if you like today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up that way I know to keep making content just like this for you guys. Alright Samurais, let's talk about this cool piece of home security technology right here. Now, you're probably saying what is this so this is a light as you can see it's a light like you've seen a hundred times before right there's your led light but this also has a camera built into it and two-way audio now we'll talk about the audio in just a minute but this is exactly what i have been looking for on the market for a long long time is a piece of technology that is very easy to use very user friendly and very easy to install this light is like the perfect package Let's talk about it, let's break it down. So the light, in my opinion, is on par with the other LED lights I have seen on the market, at least the ones I have tested. So I don't have an issue with the brightness of the light or any of that. It, the motion sensing seems to work very well outside. When I walk towards my garage or my car, boom, my light pops on. So I'm very happy with that. The next thing is the camera. I have to say, in my opinion, from all the home security cameras I have worked with and tested, this probably has one of the best quality pictures I have ever seen in a camera in its price point, at least in my opinion. So the picture quality is amazing. Now let's talk about the two-way audio. So two-way audio means I can hear what's going on, plus I can speak back through the device. So the hearing part, great i can hear what's going on i can hear people talking all that kind of stuff the speak back part where i'm talking back through the actual device here i live on a main road so where i'm testing it there's a lot of trucks there's a lot of cars there's a lot of people i personally had a hard time when this was mounted on my garage which was only about seven foot off the ground and i was standing maybe five to six feet from it actually hearing what i was saying and i've kind of find that to be true with most cameras or devices that actually have speakers built into them none of them are really as loud as i would like them to be i want them you know be blasting that you know my neighbors and everybody around can hear me yelling like get off my property so the only thing i kind of wish is that there was a louder speaker in it but it is still a very cool piece of technology for home security so i really really do like this piece of equipment the other cool thing is there are these antennas right here. So if you need to make sure that you have a good Wi-Fi connection, you can put them up so you can make sure that you're getting a good solid strong signal to the camera and light. Plus it looks like a little bunny rabbit so it's a perfect Easter decoration as well. Just joking, but it kind of does look like a bunny rabbit. One of the weird things was when I went to set this up and I don't know if it was something I did or if for some reason my wireless router wasn't working right but it did require me to unscrew this panel right here which has an ethernet jack underneath it and actually plug this into my router for setup go through the setup process once the setup process was done it told me to unplug it i screwed this panel back on and then this became wireless so that was a little bit weird that I couldn't just automatically be wireless from the get-go, but it wasn't really that big of a deal. And I also have to talk about their app and prompting you and telling you what to do it was very, very, very user-friendly. So I like that. One of the other really sweet features on this is the installation. So like I said, to install it, all you need to do is screw in the light bulb. So you take your socket and you screw the light bulb into the socket, just like so. But Say you screwed it in and now the camera is upside down because the camera should be down here. Well, all I need to do is twist it. And because of this little gray part right here, it does not let me unscrew it from the socket. Uh, and it lets me adjust the orientation of where the camera is. That way the camera is positioned correctly so my picture is not always upside down. But then to unscrew it, all I have to do is go to where it's tight and then I can just unscrew it again from my socket. So I think that is a very cool thing that they built in. The other thing is, um, 
Like my garage is only about nine foot tall. So if you're tall enough, you can actually reach up and unscrew this from the fixture and walk away with it. So it has no way for me to really secure this to uh, my fixture where I have this installed. Uh, so I would recommend if you are installing this, make sure it's installed up high enough where somebody can't reach up and unscrew it out of your light fixture. Now, the thing that was very, very weird to me, and I'm going to pull this up right here on my phone and I'll pop it up on the screen next to me. When I was going through the actual camera settings, I came down to security set it settings and it says requires a cloud service plan. Now, that I'm used to because if I want to store my footage for me to go back and review, uh, typically you only get, you know, X number of hours for free to go back and watch that footage. And then once that passes, you have to pay for a plan so if you want it for two days 10 days 20 days whatever you want to buy it for you have to buy a plan for cloud storage so you can go back and review your security footage but then i scroll down and i write underneath motion deck it says paid service plan required for advanced features now this in my opinion i don't like because i just paid a lot of money for this piece of hardware i should have access for all of its features it's my option to you know choose how long i want to see my footage for but i shouldn't have to pay to get access to all of its features so if i want you know this really cool motion detection feature or whatever this is just hypothetical that you know this camera off first i shouldn't have to pay more money for that i just bought this piece of hardware whatever this is able to do i should have access to be able to use those features i shouldn't have to pay for features now i'm all for paying for cloud storage if I want to keep my footage longer stored on somebody else's servers of course i should have to pay for that but to pay for an actual feature of a device i just bought that's a little bit weird to me now i still think that this is a great product don't get me wrong I, like i said you know the camera quality is beautiful the light's great um and i you know definitely recommend it it's just you need to know what you're getting when you're buying into it so you need to know hey like when i buy this piece of hardware i'm not going to have access to all of its features unless i buy some type of plan so you just need to know what you're buying when you buy it that way you are aware of it all right samurai so that's going to be it for today's video if you guys want to check out this device i will put a link to it in the description of this video if you guys have any questions comments or concerns feel free to ask them in the comment section and until next time remember to dream big think bigger and always be you i love you guys and i'll see you next time bye